What's going on everybody, it's Brian again, and in this video I'll be showing you the settings application in iOS 5 beta 1. Now compared to iOS 4.3, there's a lot of new options within settings itself, as you can see here. You could also see that some of the UI elements for all of iOS has changed as well. You can see that the slider, it's more rounded instead of sort of a little square that moves back and forth, so it looks nice. Wi-Fi looks the same. I'm not going to go through each and every one of these. Well, I will, but I just won't explain what they're what they're about. Notifications is definitely different because you do have notification center here. So you do have some more options here. You could choose a So for instance, for Boxcar, if I get a tweet, you could choose which kind of notification style you'd like. You could also choose the original alert notification style, you know, the usual pop-up, which is pretty cool. And you could also disable the stock uh, the stocks widget and your weather widget as you can see here location services is the same sounds is the same as well brightness wallpaper in the first beta of iOS 5 the wallpaper selection is dead going into general about pretty much the same you're you you are however able to change the you could change the name of your iDevice you could also choose to send your diagnostic information over to Apple. You could view your legal information here. And you could you could read the regulatory info if you choose to do so. And then of course iOS 5 does have over the air updates, so that's what this option is for. Currently it does not work. Here we have the usage information. Previously it would just show you your cellular data information, how many minutes you've used, and things like that. Those things are also here but you also get some more information as to how much space each one of your applications are using. So I have 3.2 gigs worth of music. Some of these other apps are using, uh, these are the, uh, uh, this, uh, this tells you actually how, how much space the app is using. Then here we have your iCloud storage information. iTunes Sync, um, in the first beta for iOS 5, Apple decided to disable the Wi-Fi syncing feature so that if you're connected to the same Wi-Fi network as iTunes is on your computer, then you could be able to wirelessly sync your device. Network is the same. Bluetooth is the same. Spotlight Search has a few different options, but for the most part, it's this, it's the it's the same. Auto lock is the same. Passcode lock is the same. Restrictions is the same. Date and time is the same keyboard is the same although there is a new feature called shortcuts so for instance one of the default shortcuts is OMW for on my way so for instance if I go to the notes application make a new note and type in OMW it'll automatically correct it to on my way so it's a nice little feature to have if you like to save some time with your typing and you also have the ability to add the Emohi keyboard without having to go through a third-party application or some sort of jailbreak tweak. International is the same. Accessibility, there's a few new options such as your custom vibrations. I don't know how to get this to work. Um, LED flash for alerts. I'm not 100% sure what this one's even about because as far as I know, there's no LED indicator on the iPhone 4, so I don't know what this is referring to. I'll leave that on. There's also a few more. Call, uh, there's one called Assistive Touch and one for incoming calls, and the reset option is the same. Going down to iCloud, this is where you could choose all of your iCloud settings, so I have syncing for pretty much everything enabled. And you could also back up your entire device to your iCloud account. Here we have, uh, actually, yeah, I can show you guys these. Here we have the mail information. I did notice that you could show up to a thousand email messages, which is pretty cool. And in addition to your usual email accounts that you can add, you can also add Windows Live Hotmail. Twitter is definitely new. You can make sure that you have the app, the app itself installed, and you could also add your Twitter account so that you could tweet photos, you could tweet your web pages that you're browsing, and a number of other things. FaceTime is the same as well. Safari, you have a couple new options. You can open links in a new page or in a background, in a background tab. Removing your, your, uh, your history is a little bit different. So for instance, if you remove website data, usually it would say clear cache, clear history, clear cookies. Now you could go to the website data and clear everything at once, as well as your history. 
messages is a little bit different because you do have the iMessage service that comes uh, stock with iOS 5. Now on the iPod Touch, the media applications were all separated, so you would have music, photos, and videos. For the iPhone, you would have the Photos app, and then your videos and your music would be put into the that they'd be put into the iPod app. On the iPad, you would have your photos, videos, and you would also have the iPod app. But on the i on the iPhone and iOS 5, Apple decided to separate everything, which I guess it's okay. I didn't really like the idea at first, but it seems okay. Video options, photo options, notes, and store. And that is pretty much everything to show in the settings application in iOS 5 beta 1. Surely some of these things are you know, bound to change in the future whenever Apple puts out another beta. They'll probably add some options, change some options, and things like that. So that's it with the video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can leave them down below in the comments area. But that's it with the video. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you all soon.